Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video from the news playlist. In this video, we're going to implement Dagger Hill dependency injection. So what dependency injection is, is a way to send dependencies or objects to a class. So for example, if we go to our data layer to go to this implementation, as you can see, here we actually pass the context and we can call this context as dependency because this class needs this context to work. Now using Dagger Health, we can simply create instance of this class and inject this context object. And now let's actually start implementing Dagger Health. So, so the first thing to set up Dagger Health is to create the application class here. I'm going to call this in use application. And let's extend from application. And here we want to annotate this with health Android app. Now we want to go to the manifest file and add this application class in here. Next step is to create the modules and inside the modules we basically define the dependencies that we want that we want to provide. So let's actually create a new package here and call this the I which stands for dependency injection. And here we're going to create an object and let's call this ab module. So to set up this module, we want to just annotate it with module, which comes from Dagger, and install in annotation, and here specify the life cycle of, this, of these modules. So we want to make this singleton so they will live as long as the application is alive. Now let's actually provide our, uh, our dependencies. So as we said, we're going to provide the local user manager implementation, and we just can do that with a function, we can call this provide local user manager and to provide this we need the context and we can get the context by having the application here as an argument and dagger health will handle that since we give dagger health the access to our application class so it will get that instance and inject it in this function and then we can just return local user manager and we can return the implementation of that manager implementation and here we pass the context which is the application class now we just want to annotate this with provides and we want this singleton now we also want to provide these two use cases uh here the read app entry and the save app entry use cases so for that i'm gonna create a new class here and this is just that class and call this app entry use cases in here, we're going to create two instances, one for read app entry and one for save app entry. And we are going to create a function to provide this data class. So provides singleton function provide app entry use cases. And here we are going to return an object of that. So app entry use cases. And let's create objects for these parameters. So the first one is read app entry. And here we need the local user manager. Yeah, we forgot to pass to get that as an argument. So we can just say local user manager. And since we created that above here, so dagger health again will inject it for our function. And here we're gonna pass it in here. So local user manager. And we want the save app entry object. And we can also pass that in here. Now that's it for our dagger health. To make sure that everything works, we can go to the main activity and we can just inject that uh, app enter use cases. So we can say inject. We're gonna make a field injection here. We can say a latinate var app entry use cases. And here I'm going to just use one of these functions inside this class. So I'm going to launch lifecycle scope dot launch. And I'm going to say app entry use cases dot read app entry dot collect. We're going to call this like that, then call collect. And here I'm going to log test and we're going to log the value of that boolean. We should get false because we didn't save anything. So let's see actually let's take let's take a look at the look cat okay okay we got a crash let's see what is that okay so we forgot one annotation here which is android entry point 
So you need to annotate this for each application component. Activity is an application component and we need to add this annotation for this activity. Now it's supposed to work. Okay, let's see if we got false and the yup, we got false. And now we know that we set up Dagger Health correctly. So in the next video, we're going to work on onboarding view model and we are gonna finally finish onboarding screens and everything about them. So thank you for watching this video and hope you have a great day. See you in the next one.